Welcome back. Breaking news overnight. The massive cyber attack hitting governments, banks, energy firms, now big pharma. It's spread to Asia and Australia right now. The attack has already shut down a major terminal in India operated by Maersk and a Cadbury chocolate factory. At this hour, some 3,000 users have been affected uh, and infected. want to bring in uh, right now a Phosphorus Incorporated founder, Gregory Keeley. Gregory, thanks for joining the conversation here. This new ransomware was first de detected in Kiev. It caused right. the Chernobyl nuclear facility to shut down. Now the federal authorities in the U.S. are investigating if the ransomware could have breached their computer system at a nuclear power plant. What's your reaction here? Good morning, Maria. This is a, the best way to, to describe this. We recall we had uh, WannaCry just, uh, just a few weeks ago to, today. This Petra, or what, uh, Petra, or what we're calling it now, GoldenEye, is a weaponized and targeted version of that. So this is a much more malicious um, uh, attack. Uh, where it's come from, we're not sure. My money, if I was a betting man, would be on, on, on Russia. On Russia. But how does this attack to the WannaCry hacking, that infected 300,000 computers? Right. So, so this is the other part of this equation, uh, Maria, is that it, this is meant to be a ransomware attack. And a ransomware attack, by its nature, is meant to, to extort money out of its victims. What we're seeing here is very bad tradecraft behind this uh, GoldenEye attack in that there was only one Bitcoin wallet uh, established uh, to take the funds. Uh, there was only one email address set up in Germany, which was closed down within a couple of days, a couple of hours, should I say, of this uh, becoming uh, known. So if they're really spending all this time to develop a, a um, ransomware to collect money of victims, they've done a pretty bad job about it. That suggests to me that this actually isn't a, uh, a ransomware attack in so much as it's, it's perhaps and potentially a, uh, a state-sponsored uh, sort of denial of service attack. You know, one of the things that troubles me when I look at this is the initial response is, of course, to look for a vaccine, some sort of cure right. for this particular issue. But what are the broader implications? What should we be doing as we see the battlefield expand and more people get exposed to something that may have started in Kiev somewhere, but suddenly is rolling into WPP advertising agencies and then right. a law firm in New York City? What's the broader implication here? Well, the broader implication is people need to get off their butts and start to patch and look after their endpoint security. Um, you know, you look at a household right now, that a, a, a general household, it's not unusual for it to have 20 or maybe 30 IoT devices. Those devices are made with no secure back end. So people aren't patching and they're not protected. So if you have a, a house, and that's equivalent of what a small medium enterprise was just a you know, year or two ago, you need to be patching those, you need to detect, you need to patch. The, you know, this, this whole um, inoculation idea, that's not a cure and it's not a fix. The fix that is out there right now, uh, the, everyone's saying, well, it's a fix, it's a fix. It's not. We can tell you, our guys have run it down. It's not a fix. Uh, it's it's a, what they call a zombie patch. That'll, that'll protect your machine or your, your IoT uh, 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 hardware uh, from infection, but it won't, it won't clean your machine. What are the solutions here? I mean, this new ransomware spreads within corporate networks running Microsoft Windows operating system. That's right. far and deep. Once infected, victims are told to give $300 in ransom. You say don't pay any ransom. Right. Absolutely not. So here's the deal with that, Maria, is that the ransom right now, if you're, if you're trying to pay the ransom, as of last night, and it was a little bit early for me to uh, check this morning, but as of <laughs> last night, there was no... Uh, way to actually pay that ransom because German authorities shut down the email account they were using to collect that money. Uh, my intelligence is telling me that uh, they only collected, uh, you know, approximately um, uh, three thousand, three, four thousand dollars overnight, and then that email account was shut down. And this is what I'm getting back to on the tradecraft side of it. This is really shoddy tradecraft. If ransomware, if extorting money was what they were trying to do, and and you know, the, the, you, you know, you mentioned Asia. The issue we have in Asia is all of those machines from households to enterprise to, to small medium business, so many machines in Asia run unlicensed products. They run pirated Microsoft Office. Those products are never updated, right. ever. That's so a really important point, yeah. yeah. Right. Good point, Gregory. Good to see you. Thanks so much uh, for joining us this morning. Of course. Thanks, guys. Gregory Keeley there.